Hello there, my name is Dismos, and today I want to introduce you to version 2 of the Quick Texture Decals add-on, uh, which is my add-on uh, that lets you add texture decals without uh, doing a lot of texturing. And uh, the link is in the description if you want to read about it or if you want to get it for yourself. So you can see how it works here, but I've made a few updates just to make the interface much easier to understand and easier to use and also make it a bit faster. So yeah, let's, let me show you how this works uh, easily here in this uh, in this scene we made uh, a few weeks ago on the live stream so yeah we have this scene and it looks too clean for me so i want to make it dirtier and maybe even add some uh posters and everything like that so what the first thing i want to do is add uh this level five uh, image somewhere here and maybe make it a bit older so to do that i'm going to go you can click the open button and uh maybe let's start with adding a direction here a direction arrow i want to let me bring this add to scene uh it go, it's going to come in as a plane uh, like this so let me first isolate it for a second you can see how it looks and uh you can i have a few settings uh so if you want uh you can play with the alpha channel so for example here you can use the image alpha or use a custom alpha so if i want to make it a bit older i can uh, use custom alpha and open uh maybe a grunge map let's say go to my grunge maps i like this and great get something like this uh, that way I can make it a bit older. Right now, uh, it's, it's not getting, getting me what I want. Uh, so uh, you can change the blending mode to subtract, 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 if I can find, uh, subtract. Let's uh, give it a moment for the shaders to compile and you can see what we're getting. Now, the resolution is a bit <coughs> small, it's a bit low for the texture, the custom text I've used. So you can scroll down until you find uh, the uh, transformation, deco transformation, and uh, find the custom mapping, alpha mapping. Bring this down uh, so that uh, we can reduce, scale the image down so that we get more, much more resolution out of uh, it. Maybe we can even just use a uh, much a higher resolution image for the custom alpha. So let me go back to that and uh, choose a better image with more resolution. Uh, let's see something like, uh, let me, I don't know, maybe something like this. Let's go back to the transformation and uh, maybe scale this down this time. And uh, in the new, in the this version, uh, we you can use uh, the curves object, the curves here, to play with the contrast of any texture, uh, the alpha or the roughness. And uh, let's change this to a vector handle, so it gives us much. Uh, strong contrast and I think maybe we just need a better image maybe something like that just to break up the arrow to make it look a bit older and uh, again if you use if you just switch this back to uh, the image alpha and then you will get rid of uh, the alpha you have created or get this back to use custom alpha to get it back there and uh, to make it look older uh, one thing i want to also do you can see this surface looks a bit shiny so i can go to the roughness and uh, add either make it very reflective or just use a custom roughness so i'll go to my grand maps again and I grab a grind map like this. Just give it a moment to compile like that. Just so to break up uh, the roughness a bit, maybe. Yeah, so maybe just can even play with the roughness like that. And then let's bring back the alpha to break, it, break up uh, this like that. Yeah, so this is how it looks so far. Just wait for the shaders to compile. Uh, okay, but I want it to be flat on the on the wall. So what I'm going to do is add. Let me just use the image alpha, so that is much easier to see. Uh, you can add a shrink wrap. Select the wall as the shrink wrap. And just rotate this until. Let me isolate uh, the arrow and uh, the image. 
Just rotate it until it fits at the surface like that. Now, if you see that uh, it's intersecting with the wall, add a few subdivisions or use the offset here or just push it out a bit. Let me, yeah, so just try to push it out a bit I like that. Maybe shade smooth. And uh, you're not only limited to arrows or decals. You can uh, grab yourself, let me see, roughness. Let me find a wall. Because I want to make this surface look a bit dirty. Or maybe let's first add, a, add in a crack. I'll just open that. Yes. Scale it up. And isolate it for a bit so that I can work on it individually. Go to the alpha settings. You can either use the image alpha or custom alpha. Now let's go back to the image alpha. Just make, I want to see mostly the crack, uh, but uh, so let's, uh, in, let's first invert uh, this alpha by just changing uh, the direction of this curve. Now I can play with the curves here. Just until I'm only seeing, let me change this to vector handle, uh, vector handle, just to get more contrast. Yeah, I want to break it up until I, I'm only seeing uh, the crack. Now, the image I'm using is not very high resolution. Uh, that's why you see that uh, uh, the alpha is not really coming out very well. Uh, but uh, yeah, that should do. Now you can see how that looks. And uh, the quality is going to be, to be dependent on the, on the image you choose. And something like that. And, uh, even we can go back to the color settings here. Turn on factor overlay just to play with the color a bit like that. <coughs> and, uh, like that. Maybe we can even do another one. Uh, let me go back to resources, custom decals. Uh, let me go to decals, grab. And something like this, add it here. Isolate for a second, go back to the alpha, use image alpha like that, go to the roughness settings, roughness settings, and uh, just make this more, a bit more rough. Yeah, basically we have added some dirt. Maybe if you want to switch out that image and just select uh, that decal, go to the color image settings and uh, switch it out uh, for something else. Uh, let's see. Maybe uh, we can try uh, this. Yes. And if you have a shrink wrap modifier, if you add a shrink wrap, let me first rotate this bit like that so that it can easily wrap around the surface. If we add a, a shrink wrap, select this wall, you can see how it wraps onto the surface. And you can see, you can even wrap it on the floor, but uh, we need uh, to have it rotated a bit like that. And uh, maybe add more subdivisions so that uh, Again, uh, the resolution seems to be not good. 
I can even duplicate this. Or let's just add another one. Uh, let's add Elon Musk here. Add to scene. Again, go to the alpha settings. Use image. Rotate him like that. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is add a shrink wrap for this wall. Now just push this onto the surface. Just get the right rotation. If we get the right rotation, maybe Yeah, something like that. Let me see. So we have added him to what wall? Just just double checking to see if I'm adding him to the right wall. Wall, yep. Let me see. And this wall. So you can see I've added him. I've added a shrink wrap to this wall, uh, but uh, the flow is not on the shrink wrap. So what I can do is add another shrink wrap. And at this time, select uh, the plane surface uh, so that uh, he can... Let me change the global to local here so that I can see. You can see now. Now I can go to the offset here. Just offset him a bit for the wall and also for the for the ground. Like that so that uh, just Now, if you see this flicker, flickering going on, all you have to do is go back to your settings here and change this from uh, from blend, alpha blend, uh, to alpha clip, uh, like that. And uh, now you can see you have a surface like that. Now, uh, this looks super clean, so what I can do is uh, come here uh, in under roughness to make it a bit more old. So I can go to the roughness, open, I uh, use custom roughness, open, and I just grab a grunge map, uh, like say, uh, let's grab something like this. There you see, now it makes him a little bit. Now if, if you add, if you combine that with an alpha channel, uh, that is going to make things look much better. You can see, and, uh, let's try adding um, an, alpha, an alpha channel, a custom alpha channel. So use alpha, custom alpha, open, uh, let's see, resources, grunge map. You can see, again, uh, the resolution of this is uh, too bad. Let me go to find a, a better image with a better resolution. Hmm. Let me see why is that. That doesn't seem to have good alpha channel. Let me grab uh, this. So it's like uh, a tone piece of paper, like that. Go back to just offset the wall a bit so that uh, it's on top of the other layers, like that. Now you can even add an factor, an overlay here, just to make him a little bit older. Now you can slide this up. Yes, slide this up or slide it down, scale it. So basically you can see how this would work. And uh, if you want, you can switch out uh, the image for something different. I don't know, maybe let me first remove the factor here, uh, the overlay.
So yeah, that's how the quick functions, oh, sorry, the, uh, the new deco, uh, deco add-on works. Uh, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.